welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about uh, this baby right here. I'm going to be doing swatches on this palette here. I'm going to be using a natural hair bristle brush and a synthetic brush. And I'm also going to be using my fingers so you guys can see the different swatches with the different kinds of brushes and of course your fingers so you can see the pigmentation to see if it's worth the money or if it's not worth the money. So if you want to see how the swatches turn out, make sure you keep on watching and let's go. So it's pretty much what the pink box looks like. I like the color of it. It's a signature pink and I like that the box is shiny. It's not like a door or matte pink finish. It's a very shiny box. And of course it has his logo and the name of the palette and in the back it comes with the ingredients and then it just tells you like how many shades it come and then that it's vegan and all that stuff. So inside the box comes the beautiful palette. Beauty killer. So we're going to go ahead and open it so we can see inside. So here are the shades. So we're going to start off with this really hot pink right here. It's in the shade Star Power. I have high hopes for this one just because it's super bright and pink. So first I'm going to be taking this Morphe M522. This is a natural hair. It's a sable brush. It's a like natural hair. So I'm going to go ahead and do a swatch. And I have not yet swatched this palette, which I've been dying, dying, dying to swatch this palette. But the time has finally came. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you guys. I'm going to grab two. And then I'm going to swatch it right about here. It is a little bit patchy as you can see there. I'm going to go one more time. And there it is. So as you can see, there is a little spots. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is a little bit of like skipping, you can say. So let's go ahead and see how the synthetic brush swatches. So again, I'm gonna do one, two. I feel like that's even worse with the synthetic brush. Which one do you guys think is more pigmented with the natural hair bristle or the synthetic? I want to say with the natural bristle. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a swatch with my finger. I'm so scared to dig into the pan with my nail. That was actually horrible. So with the finger, obviously it swatches way more pigmented, but who uses eyeshadow with their finger? No one does. So that's a little disappointing. But yes, this is the natural hair bristle. This is a synthetic and this is with my fingers. We're going to go ahead and we want the next shade, which is in the shade Princess. I'm going to be using the same brushes, but I did already clean them and my fingers are clean as well. So one two there's like patches it skips so far i am really disappointed in this palette so with the second swatch it looks a little bit more better now i'm going to go ahead and try it with the synthetic brush one two that one was horrible did that catch it i don't see anything exactly You guys, I kind of want to cry. I'm disappointed right now. Let's go for the third time. I think that's a little bit better. I feel like the camera's not even picking up the color. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my finger. See, look at with the finger swatch. Look how pigmented it looks. See that you guys see the difference the finger swatch is way better than the brushes right 
it goes even it goes on evenly and more smoother but with the brushes now that's a different story now we're gonna go ahead and move on to violence i think this one has been the worst do you guys see the little crumbles one two Okay, I don't know if I got a bad, uh, like a bad palette. I am really disappointed in <laughs> these swatches, you guys. I had really, really high hopes for this palette. I mean, I love Jeffree Star, doesn't mean that I hate him, but this is unacceptable for me. Good thing I got it on sale for Black Friday and I didn't have to pay for the full price. I'm gonna go ahead and do with my finger now. And wow, then again. The finger swatch is so much better than the brushes. So let's move on to this one. This one, I cross my fingers and I hope that it is pigmented. This one is called Rich Beep. I don't want to say that word. One, two. <laughs> what happened? Oh my God, babe, I'm so sad. Look it. There's nothing there. Maybe if I use like padding motions. So I see like if you do use like padding motions, it kind of helps it be more pigmented. But a swatch is a swatch. So let's go with the synthetic brush. Maybe it's supposed to be invisible. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the second one. And that's the third one. <laughs> now I'm gonna use my finger. I mean, the finger swatch is so much better. So let's go ahead and dip into Courtney and let's see how she is. This one also has a lot of fallout. And you guys, don't take this video in a bad way. I'm not, this is not like a bashing video like I just mentioned before. I love Jeffree Star and I love the way he is and all that. But just this palette right now is just not doing it for me. Don't think that I'm just talking smack. I'm giving you guys my honest opinion so you guys can see for yourselves. And if you guys feel like buying it, then you can go ahead and buy it. If not, then I mean, do you. But I just wanted to show you guys the swatches and you guys so you guys can see if you guys think it's worth your money or not. There is a finger swatch. As you guys can tell, the finger swatch is way more pigmented than the brushes right there. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom. I'm gonna erase this and we'll be right back. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the expensive. This blue color here looks so pretty with the little glitter. As you guys can see, it like jump. It's very patchy. One, two. See, if you go over it a couple times, it kind of gives it more pigmentation. Going with my synthetic brush. One, two. Moving on to the next color, this is the shade Confession. I think out of all the colors that I swatched so far, this one has been the better payoff. It looks, it looks more evenly, it has a better payoff. So, so far, this is the only good shade in the palette as far as pigmentation goes. And that's the second layer and look how beautiful that looks. Now let's try it with the synthetic. So this shade definitely has a better payoff when you use the natural hair bristle brushes. Now I'm going to go ahead and swatch it with my finger. What I can say about these eyeshadows is that they are very buttery and creamy. So let's go ahead and try Vanity. <laughs> I think I, you guys, I think I got a bad batch. One, two... I'm kind of speechless, you guys. So if any of you guys own this palette, let me know down below if you guys like it. How is your guys' palette when it comes to pigmentation? Is it this bad or did I just get a bad batch? Does, can anyone just please let me know? Here is the finger swatch. That looks so pretty. But with the brushes, it's super patchy and jumpy. Let's move on to China White. 
and don't think that I'm not using pressure as you can tell on the pants I am using pressure so I'm not cheating guys this is all raw and truthful honest opinions and here we go with the synthetic brush. One, two, nothing at all. <laughs> here we're gonna go with my finger. So we have one more to go, which is the shade Black Rainbow. This one looks like it's gonna be pitch black with a little bit of glitter. So let's cross our fingers and let's hope that it is pigmented. What do you guys think? Let's do one more. Let's go with the synthetic brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger. I mean... <laughs> okay, so my first impression on this palette right here with swatches. Sadly, I am very unimpressed and I am very disappointed. Like I mentioned twice already, I love Jeffree Star. I'm all for him. But honestly, this palette, for me, just with swatches, I did not like it. But like I told you guys, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this look, because I don't know, maybe on the eyes it will be different. Maybe on the eyes it will be like, bam, maybe it will work, you know? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Um, and now go ahead and get that out for you guys. This is how much I love Jeffrey, guys. This is how much. He's on my vanity because he is just a gorgeous. Look at him. Just look at him. He's just breathtaking. But this palette was a no. From the swatches, I honestly was not impressed. I found more affordable eyeshadows that are more pigmented than these. So yeah, overall, first impressions, I'm going to give it like a 4, just because I really like the packaging and the box, but the colors for me, like when you see it eye to eye, they're like breathtaking, but once they are swatched, I just feel like the color payoff was not there. That is pretty much it for this video, I really hope you guys liked it, and are you guys going to buy it, or are you guys going to skip this one? Let me know, I would love to know, because I'm a little chismosa, so yeah, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe down below. We are about, I think we're 222 right now, so we're almost at that 500, kind of. So make sure you subscribe down below so our family can keep on growing. And I'll go ahead and put more content for you guys and all that stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys!